Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's tutorial we'll be creating a shiny abstract background here in After Effects without using any third party plugins. And before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, hit the like button and without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and start creating. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, hit on this little icon or control or command on your keyboard, this is gonna be final composition for the width and height, let's go 9020 by 1080 full HD composition, frame rate 30 frames per second and for the duration I will go somewhere around 10 seconds, but of course you can type here your own numbers. Now hit OK and it's time to create our background, go right click to create new solid layer, this is gonna be background also 1920 by 1080 and then hit ok now go here in the facts and preset and find ramp effect and if you can find effects and preset just go window and you will find effects and presets here now let's type ramp effect drag and drop onto the background and let's make further adjustments for the start of the ramp go upper left corner for the end of the ramp lower right corner first color we will leave to pure black color and for the second one let's type this hexa code 001 a66 and then hit ok now let's duplicate this background solid layer hit ctrl plus d or go edit and then duplicate we will rename this one background plus elements ok hit f3 to show effects control again for the start of the ramp start color let's change to pure white color and for the second one let's type this hexa code 00 a8 ff to get this kind of bluish color and then hit ok now let's go here and import star burst effect, type star burst, ok, drag and drop onto the background plus elements and let's make further adjustments for the scatter, let's type here 350, speed 0 0.06, ok, and for the size let's go somewhere around 180. And now as you can see we have already cool looking background in our final composition. Now let's make this scene even better looking, go here in the facts and preset again, find glow effect, drag and drop onto the background plus elements and for the glow threshold let's type 35 and also for the radius let's go 35 and this is looking awesome. I will close this effects control for now and let's create another solid layer, go right click to create another solid layer, this is gonna be light wipe 01, also 1920 by 1080, make sure that our solid color is set also to pure black color, hit OK and go here in the facts and preset, find light white effect, OK, drag and drop onto the solid layer and for the completion let's go somewhere around 98 and also check this option color from source and reverse transition. Now go in the facts and preset again, find triton, drag and drop onto the light wipe 01 and let's change shadows to this hexa code 0006 F, F. And as you can see we have this cool looking light spot here in the final composition. Now select this little icon here for the center and just reposition whatever fits to you here in the final composition. Now hit ctrl plus D to duplicate this light wipe 01, this is gonna be light wipe 02, let's rename it, ok. Select this solid layer and just reposition the center of this light wipe 02. I'm doing this randomly, of course, I'm showing you the way and you can play around with all of those options. Ok, our next step is to create another solid layer, go right click to create new solid layer, this is gonna be lens flare. Make sure that the color of this solid layer is also set to a pure black color and then hit ok, go here in the facts and preset, find lens flare, drag and drop onto this solid layer and let's also add triton effect, again find Triton, drag and drop here onto the lens flare effect and let's change also blending mode from normal to add, if you can find blending mode just hit here toggle switches and modes. Now for the midtones let's type this hexa code 00AADB to get this type of blue color, hit ok and now just play around with this lens flare effect, I will do maybe somewhere around here, upper left corner, ok. This is looking cool and instead of this first option I will change to 105 mm prime. This is looking awesome, hit ctrl plus D if you want to see stronger lights here in the scene, ok. 
and let's also duplicate this lens flare once, hit control plus D again, and for this I will just rename this lens flare to lens flare 02, and this is gonna be lens flare 01, okay, and for this second option, let's select this lens flare center, go somewhere around here, okay, change this third option to maybe this first one, okay, and now let's animate this lens flare 02, go here at zero frames, set up the first keyframe for the flare center, and go to around maybe 10 seconds, and let's move this X parameter to maybe somewhere around here. Of course you will play around with the options to get the results that work best for you. Hit zero here in the finals, and as you can see we have this great looking and awesome scene in our final composition. Alright guys, that was everything for today's tutorial, I have shown you this cool technique to create your own background, you can play around with all of those options to get whatever you want. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, and if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, also you can leave me a comment down below in the comment section, and also take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials, and until next time, stay creative, and bye bye!